Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat. Now, if you've been enjoying the daily content that I upload here on the channel, not only should you click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell, but I've also got a free Halloween-themed live stream concert coming up. It's on Friday, October 30th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, right here on the channel. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hope to see everybody there. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to sync the arpeggiator in the Korg NTS-1 to the sequencer in any Teenage Engineering Pocket Operator. Now, if this sounds like a familiar topic, that's because I have already covered this here on the channel. However, it was about six months ago or so, probably longer than that, actually, and I was really not happy with that video. The camera angle was awful. You couldn't even see all of the connections, and the information presented, while correct, was just not done in a very coherent way, so I really wanted to remake it and uh, kind of streamline this for you guys. So what you will need is obviously a Korg NTS-1 and any of the Teenage Engineering Pocket Operators. I'm using the PO32 Tonic. You're also gonna need two 8th inch or 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cables. And finally, you'll need a 3.5 millimeter or 8th inch stereo to TRS splitter. Now the reason we need this is because of how the Pocket Operators handle audio pass-through and sync. You see the Korg NTS-1 has audio in right there, audio out via a headphone jack right there, and then has a separate pair of jacks for sync in and sync out. The pocket operator, while it still possesses audio in, audio out, sync in and sync out, combines both of those into one input jack and one output jack. So we have to use this splitter to split either the output or the input of the pocket operator to give us separate connections to use with the NTS-1's separate jacks. So there's two ways we can sync. We can either run the NTS-1 through the pocket operator, in which case the NTS-1 becomes the master, or we can run the pocket operator through the NTS-1 where the pocket operator becomes the master. This also will allow us to use the effects of the NTS-1 to uh, tweak and mess with our sounds from the pocket operator. So that's my preferred way of doing it, but I'm gonna show you how to do both. Let's start with how to sync these two with the NTS-1 as the master. So first thing you'll wanna do here is to take one of your auxiliary cables and plug it into the audio output of your Korg NTS-1, just like that. The next thing you'll want to do is to take your second auxiliary cable and to plug it into the sync out on the back of the NTS-1. So you should have two cables coming out of the NTS-1 now. Sync out as well as audio out there through the headphone jack. Now pick up your splitter. We're gonna take the audio out from the NTS-1, which is this one right here. And that is going to go into the red connector or the ring connector, if yours are labeled. Then you'll want to take the sync cable from the back of the NTS-1 and plug that into the black jack of your splitter, otherwise known as the tip. Now we're simply going to take the other end of the splitter and plug it into the input of our pocket operator. At this point, feel free to power on your NTS-1 by plugging it in via USB. Now for the sake of simplicity, I'm actually not going to plug the pocket operator, the output, into my audio interface just to keep this a little less cluttered. My uh, cables are already a little long as is. So at this point, we're almost done. We just need to switch the pocket operator to the proper sync mode. So to do that, you're gonna hold the function button of your pocket operator, which is the button right under the second knob. It's gonna be different on every pocket operator because on every pocket operator, this button performs a different function. So you're gonna hold that down and then tap BPM until you get to SY4. That means sync mode four. Sync mode four means that the pocket operator is looking for both a sync signal and an audio input, and then it's going to output only audio. Now, as long as you have a pattern ready to go, you can press play, and you'll hear your pattern start to go. Now, if you wanna change the tempo, the Korg NTS-1 is what controls the tempo now. So to change the tempo on the NTS-1, you hold the ARP button and change knob B. And we can hear that, yes, indeed, the NTS-1 is now controlling the tempo of the pocket operator. With our arpeggiator latched, we can press any key. 
and we can hear that they are indeed synced. From here you can mess with it, change our uh, arpeggio type, And there you go. That is the first way to sync these. Next up, we're gonna unplug everything and I'll show you how I like to sync them with the pocket operator in charge. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna flip flop these, put the pocket operator on the left. And now we're basically gonna do everything in reverse. So we're gonna take our splitter and we're gonna plug it into the output of our pocket operator. And by the way, this splitter will be linked down in the description below. They're just a couple bucks. I recommend picking a few up. They're really handy to have on hand. All right, so now that we've got that plugged in, go ahead and grab one of your auxiliary cables. We're going to plug into the ring jack here, or the red one if yours is color-coded. And remember, red is our audio, so we're actually going to plug the other end of that cable into the back of the NTS-1, where it says audio in right there. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to take our other auxiliary cable, plug it into the black jack of the splitter, and this time we're going to plug this into the sink in on the back of the NTS-1, which is right next to the audio in, right there. Perfect. From here we can power on our NTS-1 by once again plugging it in. There we go. Now. We need to put our pocket operator into sync mode one. So once again, hold the function button and tap BPM till we see SY1. That means the pocket operator is going to output both audio and a sync signal for the NTS-1 to listen to. Once again, I'm not gonna plug the NTS-1 into my audio interface just so it stays a little less cluttered for you guys, hopefully easier to follow. So now, of course, we can start a pattern on our pocket operator. And the pocket operator is in charge of the tempo, so we can hold BPM and use knob B here to change it. And if we latch the arpeggiator on the NTS-1 and start it, we can hear that they are synced. And the pocket operator is in charge of the tempo. What's cool about this is we can use the effects now to affect both the synth and the drums. There we go. So there you have it, that's how you sync a pocket operator with the NTS-1 or the NTS-1 with a pocket operator. It's fairly simple. All you need is one of these splitters here. Again, they will be linked below. If you guys still have questions after this video, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and I will do my best to get back to you. Um, it's pretty simple once you understand it, but unfortunately my auxiliary cables are a little long, so this mess does still look a little confusing. Just realized my microphone and headphone cables for uh, recording the video are in the shot too, so just ignore those. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. If you guys enjoyed this one, if you learned something, please go ahead and leave a like on the video. If not, you can leave a dislike, that's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.